bar. Now I'm going to show you how I'm making a project of Roman numerals. Now we studied the basics in fifth grade, so let's look at a flashback uh, to our working model. You know that there are seven uh, Roman numerals. I have pasted five of them. Let's paste the other two. So, the next number is L. So, let's paste it on. And paste it. And after that, the last letter is M. Let's put it on. what each letter represents. Now, let's look at the first letter, which is I. What does it represent? Let's check. It's 1. I represents 1. Now, next we move on to letter V. What does it represent? It represents 5. V equals 5. Next letter is X. What does it represent? Let's check. It's 10. X represents 10. Now, we go to L. Now, what does L represent? It represents 50. Now, let's look at the next letter, which is C. Now, do you know what C represents? C represents 100. Now, the next letter is D. Do you know what D represents? Now, D represents 500. Let's look at the last letter, which is M. What does M represent? So, M represents 1000. Do you find it difficult to remember these letters? Let's look at a mnemonic to remember. Now, the mnemonic is I value xylophones like cows drink milk. Now, I is the first letter and next letter is V. So, we have the starting letter of value. Then, xylophones, X, starting letter, like, L, cows, represents C, uh, drink, represents D, and M, represents milk. Now, this is the mnemonic to remember the Roman numerals in ascending order. Look, I finally made the working model. Next, let's look at some hot questions for Roman numerals. Let's look how to convert Roman numerals to indoor numerals. Now, this is the question. M, M, C, D. Now, let's look at what each letter represents. Now, M represents 1000. And also the next M. Now, C represents 100 and D represents 500. So, it will be equal to 1000 plus 
1000 plus now we have 100 and 500 in the rules of roman roman numerals if a number of a smaller quantity comes before a number of a bigger quantity then we have to subtract the number with the smaller quantity from the number with the bigger quantity this means in this case uh, cd is 100 and 500 so it will be equal to 500 minus 100 now this will be equal to 1000 plus 1000 plus 400 which is equal to now 1000 plus 1000 is 2000 2000 plus 400 is equal to 2400 so mmcd represents 2400 now let's keep this away for a while let's look at the next question so in this question we are going to convert indo arabic numerals to Roman numerals. Now, so the question is 1040. Now, let's divide this number. So, 1040 is equal to 1000 plus 40. Now, 1000 plus 40 is equal to 1000 so 40 can't be represented as 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 as it is against the rule of roman numerals which is that a number can't be repeated more than thrice continuously so the nearest number to 40 is 50 so 50 minus 10 is equal to 40 so this will be equal to 50 minus 10. Now let's take the Roman numerals. So now as normally we use toothpicks for this activity. Now as because of the corona issue and lockdown I cannot go out to buy toothpicks and there's a shortage of toothpicks in my home too. And a color paper is readily available in my home. So that's why I'm using color paper. Now, 1000 represents M. So... You so M is done. Now, how do we write 50 minus 10? Now, like in the previous example, you saw that the smaller number came before the bigger number. So, in this case, as it's a subtraction problem, 10 will come before 50. So, the Roman numeral for 10 is X and for 50 it is L. So, it will be equal to CL. I'm sorry, it's not CL, it is XL. So, we stick X. 